Hey guys, in this video I'm going to discuss um, working a manual job and performing strength training seriously to a serious level whether that be like competitive or just taking your training really seriously. So firstly what are the problems we run into with working a manual job conflicting with training. So fatigue is going to be quite high, you're going to get into the gym, you're going to feel like rubbish most days. So there's things we can do about this. Um, basically supplementation in the form of like caffeine that kind of thing so literally a good a good tip to do is literally just have a coffee when you finish work or when you get to the gym or have an energy drink in the car on the way there's no need for like expensive pre-workout supplements that kind of thing just have a bit of caffeine and you're sorted that way um, secondly in regards to like GPP and cardio if you work a manual job performing GPP work or cardio is pretty much a waste of time because you're pretty much getting all your GPP just from working. So that's something you don't need to worry about really. Which is a, a benefit of working a manual job. Unlike guys who are sat behind an office chair all, all day long in their office jobs. Um, you know, them kind, kind of people need to do a lot of GPP work and cardio just to stay healthy. Whereas in a manual job you don't really have that to worry about because you can stay healthy. Just You get enough general physical preparedness from that and your fitness levels stay fairly high. Um, also to note due to the fact of fatigue, like your time management in the gym, time management becomes really, really important. Um, you can't spend loads of time in the gym messing around because you're just too tired to be able to do it most days. Um, also, another thing with uh, manual related jobs, like myself, I'm a painter and decorator, builders, people like that, You quite often, quite a lot of the time you don't always... Um, you don't have to finish work at the same time of day, so some days you might work on late and such a thing like that. Like you should try and limit these on your main training days, but if you have to work on late to get a job finished, that's what you've got to do. And so your training needs to account for this. So like your training days, you need to have like option. You need to like improve, have a bit of self auto regulation in the form of like workout length. So say you have like maybe one or two main lifts for that workout, and everything else is optional. And if you've got time, you can do the other stuff. And if not, you don't have to. There's no pressure you've got to do it. But on the other hand, if you get there early, or you've, got, you've had a day off for some reason, like in between jobs or something like that, you can um, you can do extra stuff for that day. So auto-regulation of time is needed like that as well. Um, finally, in regards to like um, connective tissue and joint health, like doing a manual job like myself as a painter, you get a lot of shoulder problems, like plaster guys, you get shoulder problem problems as well. Everything there's a whole range of like joint issues which can come from working a manual job. And basically what you need to do for this is just put a lot of focus in soft tissue work. Like it might take you longer when you get in the gym it might take you a longer period of time to get from that period of being, been at work to being able to lift. And that can that can involve soft tissue work and also like even days when you don't train, soft tissue work becomes quite important. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for that topic, guys. If you've got any questions, please ask below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Out.